If your red and green cones are both stimulated, your brain says, that's yellow. If all three red, green, and blue are stimulated equally, your brain interprets it as white. This is the additive color model, the foundation of every screen you're looking at right now. And it's the key to solving our green star mystery, so let's put it all together. A star's black body spectrum is a blend of many colors. When a star is cool, its peak is in the red. It's emitting red light, but also some orange and yellow. Your brain gets a strong signal from the red cones, a weaker one from the green, and almost nothing from the blue. The result? You see a red or orange star. Now let's heat that star up, its peak shifts. What happens when its peak intensity lands squarely in the green part of the spectrum? Shouldn't the star look green? Nope, and here's why. Because the black body curve is a broad, smooth hill, not a sharp spike. A star whose peak is green is also emitting a huge amount of red and yellow light on one side of the peak, and a lot of blue and violet light on the other. All of these colors pour into your eye at once. Your red cones are firing, your green cones are firing, and your blue cones are firing. And what does your brain do when it gets a strong, balanced signal from all three cone types? It sees white. A star hot enough to have its peak in the green looks white to our eyes. A slightly cooler star like our sun has its peak closer to yellow-green. And that mix of red, green, and a little blue makes it look yellowish-white. If a star gets even hotter, its peak moves into the blue. Now your blue cones are firing like crazy with less stimulation for green and red. The result is a blue-white star. The star's color moves from red to orange to yellow-white, then to white, and finally to blue-white. It completely skips over green.